So if your home is built in the last 15 years, most likely your builder cheaped out on residential grade 15 amp outlets, 14 gauge wire, so they could do what's called speed wiring and just insert the wire in the back of the outlet and call it a day. Now I do not like this type of wiring. One, I don't like the 14 gauge. For outlets, I'd like to use 12 gauge, even if you're using 15 amp outlets. If you have a single duplex 15 amp outlet, you can put that on 12 gauge and a 20 amp breaker. That's a point of a lot of confusion, but that is according to code. But maybe you don't have speed wire. Maybe you have 12 gauge where you have J hooks on your conductors. Those J hooks on the two conductors and also your ground are properly placed in the clockwise direction around your screw terminals. Now these can be okay, but from a DIYer's perspective, they are a little bit prone to error, one going in the counterclockwise direction, not stripping the right amount of insulation, and just not getting a good contact. If installed correctly, these can be great and hold up for decades and decades and decades, but there is a better way. So let's introduce you to the future of wiring outlets and light switches, which I think is gonna be the way going forward. So why do I say it's the way going forward, right? I'm just a DIY homeowner, but I've put hundreds of videos out on DIY electrical, pay attention to the market, go to different conferences and get thousands and thousands of your comments. And over a year ago, Leviton introduced the Decora Edge. Now the Decora Edge only came in the 15 amp outlet a three-way light switch, and then a single pole light switch. These three products, all in the Decora series, were introduced first at Home Depot, and then they went kind of far and wide to other retailers, and they were a crowd pleasers. Your guys' specific feedback was very positive on this one because now we've introduced this lever instead of screw terminals. So that is a safer install, it is a more consistent install, and it is a faster install. It introduces the features of our favorite Wago lever nut, at least a favorite of mine, where we're able to introduce a wire into the wire connector, this Wago, close that lever, and then we have a secure hold. Now this same feature that we've been using for years and years and years with Wagos is now on outlets and light switches. The problem was pretty limited in the initial introduction. Well, we have a whole lineup now that Leviton's expanded to, and I do see the industry tending in this direction. So let's take a closer look at these. And also let's go ahead and cut these open to see the internals as this Decora Edge is pretty lightweight. I was a little concerned it's kind of a residential grade and I prefer a commercial grade, but these new products are quite a bit better and I think you're gonna be surprised. Now, as you expect wiring, for this is extremely simple. You just reference your strip gauge here on the side, go ahead and do your ground first, which is always best practice. And then depending on if you have similar lengths on both of these, you can kind of introduce them at the same time and then close down both of those levers. Now we have no exposed metal on the side. We have no exposed copper on either our neutral or our hot. So you can see that is a pretty tight little package on install and the speed is a big improvement. So you can get these in a wide variety now. This is not an all inclusive list, but you can get the 20 amp duplex outlet in standard or tamper resistant 15. This is a tamper resistant, or you can get a standard two different GFCIs. You have your weather resistant that could go outdoors and the levers on these are even better. It has like, the special linkage design, you can see how it pulls that out. And then that actually, you can barely see it in, that opens up, then you can put the wire in and then it just snaps into place and then holds that down. Pretty cool design and even comes with test ports here for your multimeter if you had to do any troubleshooting. So you have your weather resistant for outside and then just a standard tamper resistant, both in 15 amps. But then we bring in a standard toggle switch as well with the edge. All right, so now it's time for the Dremel. We're gonna open up a bunch of these different outlets and maybe the light switch as well and compare those and show you why this type of wiring is so much better than the back wiring. Because a lot of people say, hey, if you're just gonna use Wago lever nuts or use something like these edge series, why would you not just backwire? They're the same thing. Well, they're not the same thing. And let's open these up so we can really see the difference in the design and why I think this is preferred and the direction the industry is going. And this, hopefully, we're getting away from.
So we'll take a look at the internals and there are quite a few design changes between the decor edge and the lever edge. But over the years, we've really been focused on helping you guys save time and money, mostly through these DIY videos. That's saving on one part of the overall cost of a home and that's your home maintenance and repairs, which I think is a no brainer for us that are willing to take on those projects. But there's a lot of other slices there where you might be able to save money and home insurance is one of those. So we've been focused on a little initiative lately and that's getting your guys' feedback. There's a link in the description to a quick survey. You fill out the information on your home. What is your premium? How much liability are you covering? What is your deductible? Then we pool that together with the other viewers in your state. And then we send you back an email with a custom report showing you the average premium, how much have things went up in your state, and most importantly, what are others carrying for liability? What are others carrying for deductible? So you can make the smart decisions on how much coverage you should have and try to keep your costs down. Then two out of three of you said independent insurance agents are who you turn to, opposed to those captive agents that can only sell you products from one company. So we've stitched together a network of independent agents to match you guys up if you need to adjust your coverage or you just want to shop around for quotes. And then the nice thing about independent agents, they go work for you. They go shop for different quotes and then bring you back the best coverage and the best price to see if it's a good match for you. And then let us know down in the comments, what else do you guys need help with around your house in terms of saving time and money, whether that's just a video we can put out or maybe we can pool together the knowledge of the audience like we're doing with home insurance and help each other out along the way. So first up is the residential grade, just showing back wiring. So we have the conductor coming through the hot side. You can see the copper here, and then that's held in place by that single tab there in the back. Now, if that tab gets deformed, that's where this wire can get loose and you can have the connection work free and you might have a loose connection, high resistance, heat, and then ultimately failure. And that is the difference between the speed wiring and what we will see on the Decora Edge and the Lever Edge. So I cut off the top part of the Decora Edge and we have one conductor here through the neutral side. Now that is showing the copper here. Again, it's pressed up against here. Right now it has a little bit of play because there's actually a plastic channel that I had to cut out that would guide this wire right up against that copper plate here, which would then connect up to our neutral side. But then this is also how we will release this. The lever is actually going to press the spring. So you can see the spring is actually a much nicer spring than that single tab that we saw on the speed wiring. So you can press this down, we'll hold that in place so it doesn't pop out, and then that wire could be released. Then we press it back, and then if we close things, then we have our tension, and that spring is not gonna easily be deformed like the other one. The only thing I don't like about the Decora Edge is the overall prongs here would go in these channels, this type of design is historically with a low end residential. Why is that? Because over time you can see the prongs will come in here. If they loosen those up, this type easily can be deformed and then you have that type of outlet that always your plug is falling out, especially like your phone charger. So my hunch of a residential like construction on the Decora Edge was confirmed looking inside. But what about this new lever edge? So we can see already, right, if you compare side to side, I've opened up a bunch of different outlets over time, and this is a classic commercial higher end construction compared to a lower end residential. Now this higher end, the way it's constructed also tells me this is the same. It's a 15 amp outlet, but it's gonna be the same for the 20 amp. And that's because we could have our vertical prong here going in the hot side, and then for a 20 amp plug, you would have a horizontal neutral, and then that would go in here. So this type of design can fit either vertical or horizontal prongs. That's why this type of design would fit this 15 amp, but it's also gonna be the same for the 20 amp. So you're kind of getting a more robust internals compared to what you're getting on something like that Decora Edge. Now from a lever perspective, the levers work exactly the same. It's gonna be harder to see because I still have the housing on there, but it works exactly the same as what we saw here on the Decora Edge. And I do like the spring type of mechanism. I think that would hold up in vibration, it would hold up in heat loading. And because that spring could continue to apply force, it would keep your conductor on the terminal and a solid connection. 
So I can say it is confirmed the new lever edge and we saw it on the box, it has a plus, which historically has the, been the commercial line for Leviton. It is a higher end construction internally. So you have the advantages of the levers and you have the internal construction of the commercial grade and more robust outlet. And then here is the look at the spring for the ground. So how that would work is the lever would actually wrap around here and then that would compress the spring and I would introduce my ground up and through and you can see I still have the channel for the wire. So that's what keeps it in contact here. And then my spring is now tight onto that bare ground. So that's a little closer look, but all of these have a very similar spring just the lever is gonna be a little bit different on your GFCI and has a bit of a smoother operation overall. Now, one thing that is worth testing, if I pre press a wire in, does the lever open up? And here, the lever has some spring, so it's not gonna just sit open. Why do we test that? Because that's one of the most common negative feedbacks on a Wago lever nut, is once you have the wire inserted, then there's some play here on the lever. You see how that doesn't spring back? So this can kind of get caught on wires in the box. It looks like that is not the case when it comes to these edge series devices. With a wired in, you still are gonna have a spring that's gonna bring back your lever. So these are not sticking out, getting caught on things in your box. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Overall, I think it's a great upgrade and I really like these lever edge. I actually like them quite a bit more than the Decor Edge because of those features that we saw that were more like a commercial grade outlet with the convenience of the levers. Now, Leviton seems to be rolling this across all sorts of designs. You can even see this 240 volt, 30 amp plug that has built-in levers. Now, I think this is much, much better than usually the small screws that we have to tighten in because classically people do not tighten those to correct torque. And because it's usually stranded wire, you actually have to work that wire and torque multiple times to make sure you have a secure hold. And I just think these springs would be a better long-term solution. Now, if you wanna see a few projects where I use this type of plug, you can check out this video right here. I'll introduce you to how you actually back up your home with something like a portable power station. And the way you connect that up is through a generator inlet which you'll see the installation down here in this video so thanks for joining me in this video and we'll catch you on one of those next videos take care